I guess coming from central Otago wasn't a place where art was openly accepted. I had great support there, but being a guy, you played sport, you played rugby, which I did, and I did that sort of stuff, but wasn't really until I got to the need and I felt that I could sort of cut loose a bit and it was cool to do art and it was all good. I, I kind of love getting covered in charcoal and like just everything I own is covered in paint or charcoal. It gets everywhere. As you work, the, the face begins to emerge. It starts off a blank canvas and it's like, oh wow, like it's kind of overwhelming a wee bit and it's like where do you make the first mark and then as you as you work through um, it's not until you sort of get the mouth and then the nose and then a bit of the eyes right and then the, the face will emerge and then it's kind of like from there I find it easy once I get that down it's like I know what to do I can finish it from here I can see it in my head When I kind of get into the zone, it's like an escape from where I was, you know, it was like another world, you could just go in and do your thing, not have to like answer to anyone, and you just create this piece of art, and at the end, like, people kind of fall in love with it. People buy my paintings, and every time I see them, they're like, oh, we still still love your painting, it's sitting in the lounge, and we get so many comments about it, and that's, to be able to create something from nothing, essentially, that, like makes people happy every day is I think something quite special really.